What's happening to Grease Monkey RC tuning in today with the little Grease Monkey? Yep, yep. Tuning in today and enjoying my little one. And enjoying my little one. Mama out shopping right now. Trying to go get me and have some food. The little one prepared and got food for days. Food for days. But yep, yep, she is doing a okay. And they tune it back in on the build though. Tune back in on the build. <clears throat> Went ahead and did a little bit to it as visitors came over to so let visitors get their time to mess with her family and all. Came over, I just sat down to give them their time and mess around with the truck. Yeah, went ahead and put on my limiters. Haven't gave them the final adjustments just yet. Limiters, limiters, limiters. MOD. Wish they had them in black. I would have got them in black, but these are limited edition straps here. Had to actually do some custom work to them because these are originally low C's um, limited straps. So the cap ends for the top wrap around I actually too big of a thread for it so I had to do a little custom work of getting it on there properly do a little custom work but I'm gonna actually cut these bolts here so they're not sticking out there like they are <clears throat> so things will look fresh and clean but yep yep I am about there, waiting for the differential to come in today. Gearbox is going to be coming in today. The only part that I can't do is put in the two-speed because the two-speed is supposed to be coming in sometime this week too. So if I really was just going a single speed, that would have been inside there with no problem because the fact that it's already completely built with the single speed, but... Going lock diff, going two speed on top of that. So I gotta take it apart as soon as I get it. <clears throat> and this is where we at right now. Looking pretty and shiny. I think this is my girl's favorite build right here because there's so much shininess to it. She didn't want me to put the shocks um the shocks socks on there. She didn't want me to put the shock socks on there because she wanted that shininess to stick out on it. She liking the shininess. That is a okay. She about to be done and complete soon. Got the aluminum hubs, bearing hubs and everything coming in. So that's going to throw it off too. That's going to throw it off. Kill switch coming in and everything coming in for her. But yep, yep. <coughs> Definitely taking my time with her since I got my little one right here. Definitely taking my time. This is going to be my drag stand and a little bit later down the line. I got plans on buying a shorty kit. So once I buy that shorty kit, that one going to be dedicated to this little shorty right here. And that one is going to be built and dedicated to my little shorty. Yeah, plans for that one too. That plans, but yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Like I say, custom work being done on this one. I mean, wish I could have done even more custom when it came to getting this done. Would have had to end up basically using a nice drilling tool and drill out a bigger bolt, and drill out the center of it. Go ahead and tap and dye it, and then basically would have made a staging bolt for for it instead of using a longer bolt to extend through it. 
I would have used a staging bolt basically would have made it fit with no problem and definitely made it look cleaner than what it is. Still looks clean, unnoticeable, but definitely could have got it done better if I had my little workshop that I plan to have in the future. Yep, yep. Also, a little update on the body. Body. Mm -mm. Got too much going on. I think I'm gonna leave it right there. But with the body, went ahead and add my lights on it. I'm gonna show you guys when everything is done. Been prepping up on the body to adding the lights and everything, fuel and tank and all. Everything will be looking official on her. But about to be tuning out with you guys. It's just an update on my little tinky winky and also my little build also. We'll be having an update with a build with my tinky winky too. I'm trying to think if I'ma build it with her where she'll be able to help daddy with building it or just build it and dedicate it to her with her name. Her name is Jay Honesty. Jay Honesty. An addition to the Robersons family. But thanks for watching, guys. Once again, thanks for the congrats over throughout the week and everything from a little tinky winky. Really appreciate you guys for tuning in. The likes and the subscribes. I really appreciate it all. So keep up with it. Definitely gonna motivate me to do bigger things as far as getting better videos and doing what I gotta do to give y'all that entertainment y'all looking for. <clears throat> definitely, definitely. About them. Don't look like much, but that's the purpose of a dragster. You don't need too much on her. So you're feeling like there's much to it, but not going to be much more to it besides gas tank servos and all of the electricals i actually figured out a way to keep it all on the body so all the wires that i was talking about before being in here actually won't be in there it's all going to be hidden on the body all going to be hidden on the body also with the quick releases made some quick releases for the body you got tired of Unscrewing the body and everything. Only ones I got to do is put in for the front bumper. I actually got it done on the back end too. Back end, I got the quick release on there too. Got it on both sides, so definitely when she ready to be put together and re-wrapped. I don't have to worry about any type of situations, if a server was to go out and smoke out, lipo battery was to go out and smoke out, I can actually access it really quick. The last time a servo went out on me and smoked up, I thought it was a lipo battery from the way it smoked up on me. And I literally damn near ripped my whole body panels and everything. And the bad thing about that is that these cracking bodies, you really can't buy things separate. Once you break something on these bodies here, it's either you buying the whole thing for 300 and change again, or you better find some look, trying to find some body panels for it. Even with these, the spoilers here, I actually redid those myself. Those are custom done. I actually like the way I did it because I raised it up a little bit higher. I cut those out from the body panel up underneath the, um, the guard there. Cut these out from it and raise it up high so it looks even sharper. Yeah, once you fuck up something on these bad boys, yeah, you in for it. But let me attend back to my little tinky winky. That's it for you guys. Tuning out.